Dr. Tom, you're a local radiologist, and you're here today because you just had bunion surgery performed on your right foot by me. Tell us how you're doing. Well, it was everything I've expected uh, from Dr. Moy's uh, uh, office and people. It was uh, scheduled conveniently, uh, virtually pain-free the day of surgery, and uh, the entire team was everything I've come to expect. It was really quite a pleasure. Great. But that's not why we are really here today. We're here today to discuss the long-term effects on bunion surgery. Bunion surgery that you had performed by me nearly a decade ago. So why don't you tell us your experience with bunion surgery back then? Well, that's right. Approximately nine years ago in the spring of 99, I had my first bunion surgery with you. At the time, I had a fair amount of pain and deformity of my left uh, great toe, and uh, I found you uh, pretty much uh, out of sheer luck just looking for a podiatrist after I moved to California. And the procedure was, uh, again, virtually painless and uh, really lived, uh, lived up uh, beyond my expectations. Uh, yeah, that was nine years ago, and it's taken maybe uh, over the past 6 to 12 months, I've noticed similar deformity of the right foot. That's why it took nine years. I didn't have the right bunion deformity nine years ago. Well, Dr. Tom, what I understand is you've been practicing radiology for a number of years locally here. So you've had the opportunity to run across and discuss your condition with many surgeons who perform a similar type of operation. Why don't you expand upon what they had to say and the decisions that you made and why you came back here to have us perform your operation. All right, that's actually a good question because I work in the San Clemente area with several podiatrists and orthopedic surgeons who do foot and ankle surgery. And uh, uh, seeing them on a daily basis and reading films for them, uh, as a matter of convenience, it probably would have been equally easy, if not easier, to do a quick phone call or uh, curbside consult with them and schedule a surgery. But uh, having discussed it with them and knowing their, their case volume, the type of procedures they do on a weekly basis, it became pretty obvious that, uh, uh, first of all, having had a, a, a perfect experience with you nine years ago, I, I, I said to myself, why, why go to Vegas and, and sit at the table and run the risk of having someone who's not going to do uh, an excellent procedure? I'm sure these guys, they're all very well respected and, and fine foot and ankle surgeons in their own right, but the, the experience I had with you made it a no-brainer for me. Um, uh, not to mention case volume. I got the impression that they did a variety of foot and ankle surgeries and uh, the number of bunion surgeries that you and your team perform probably literally ten times. Uh, the number that some of these other guys perform on a monthly and annual basis. Dr. Tom, it's been over nine years now since your surgery on your left foot, and you initially had some concerns about the healing process, the recovery, the ability to participate in your athletic activities. Tell us how it's been now over the past nine years for you since that time. Right, that's that, that was actually a little bit of a gamble for me because my first bunion surgery, uh, at the time I had a moderate amount of deformity and a moderate amount of pain. It wasn't really uh, the end of the world for me if I didn't have the surgery. And as a competitive runner, I was very concerned about getting up to strength and speed in a reasonable time frame, you know, a three to six month time frame. And uh, it's been so long ago, I actually have to strain my memory a bit, nine years, but 100% functionality probably six months out, and I can't recall the last time I had any twinge of pain in the left left great toe, which was your first surgery on me nine years ago. So again, nine years out, I have 100% functionality, zero pain, zero return of the cosmetic deformity. So it's, uh, it, there's, there's absolutely no negative uh, to my first surgery uh, that I had, and I'm looking forward to similar results with my right foot, of course. Dr. Tom, you just had bunion surgery recently and you had bunion operation performed over nine years ago. Tell us what type of reservations or hesitations did you have just prior to your most recent surgery? Uh, it, what, that's a very easy question to answer, mainly because I had the experience with you nine years ago. If this were my first procedure, I'd probably have all the hesitations and reservations of anyone undergoing, as you say, a fairly, fairly you know, it's not major, it's not heart surgery, but it's something that 
uh, is, is, requires anesthesia and requires time off from work. Uh, having the experience with you nine years ago, I had no hesitation. In fact, I wanted to do it sooner rather than later. The only thing preventing me this time, I just had a baby about a year ago, and I have a lot of up and down the stairs type of responsibilities. But uh, I wanted to get this done soon because I knew the result was going to be long-lasting, and I wanted the next 15, 20, 25 years of my life to be as enjoyable as the last 10 vis-a-vis -vis my sports and my athletic activities. So I wanted to come to you as soon as uh, possible. Well, what was your experience with our group of doctors, nurses, the receptionist, from the point of actually entering into the facility upon exiting? Yeah, it's almost it's almost embarrassing to to say that there's nothing, virtually nothing I can complain about, or uh, in, in the little uh, recommendation that you uh, questionnaire that you have us fill out uh, on our follow up visit, I had literally no comments to make as to improvements. It was a it was a, a seamlessly enjoyable, 100% uh, satisfaction type of experience. I'd recommend this uh, recommend this facility to anyone. You've been in practice a number of years, and you've had the opportunity to read a number of post-operative Bunyan films. One thing that patients are highly concerned about after having a Bunyan operation is, is the Bunyan going to reoccur? What do you attribute is the fact that, in your particular situation, that your Bunyan has not reoccurred in nearly a decade? Well, I guess part of that question, I don't have the expertise to answer as not being the actual podiatrist or foot surgeon who did the procedure, but I'd have to guess that the technique and skills of the surgeon who performed my surgery, yourself, Dr. Moy, uh, uh, led to this, this result. And I might say I put tremendous biomechanical stresses on my foot as a competitive runner, so uh, if any... Uh, uh, bunion surgery might have had the opportunity to fail, one might guess it would be under the type of stresses that I put my foot under. And I'm nine years out running 60 miles a week, zero return of deformity, zero return of pain. And that led me to the decision to have my right foot done sooner rather than later, because uh, hopefully I'll, I'll live a, a long and happy life after this, uh, after this interview. But uh, frankly, I don't, I don't really expect my, my more recent surgery to have any return of the bunion deformity, hopefully for the rest of my days.